And so let's have a look at the uh, heart bleed zero day vulnerability and try and understand how it actually happened. Okay, so what it is, is that it takes, uh, it, it exploits the OpenSSL library, which is used in many websites, especially in, in Linux, Apache type websites. And often it is there to, to be able to create the SSL and TLS connections between the client and the, the server. So unfortunately, there's a vulnerability in there uh, related to the heartbeat between the, the two systems. And what can happen is that uh, Eve, in this case, can actually craft a payload which will open up the memory on the server, typically up to 64 kilobytes, and to be able to examine the running memory and then expose that back to the, the intruder. In this case, we can see there are usernames and passwords with inside the memory. There can also be the private key or the secret key of a certificate actually running in memory so that in this case, Eve can actually get back the encryption key and is then able to sign any entity with the private key uh, gained from, from the website. So it's a fairly serious uh, vulnerability, it's seen as highly critical, and it could affect up to 30% of the web servers on the internet. So this is the CVE number here that, that we actually have uh, for it. Okay, what has happened is that uh, really the Uh, the, the the payload or the, the size of the payload is unchecked. So what happens when when this value come this data buffer comes back from the client, then this will actually load up a certain size of payload. So it wasn't meant to have a great deal of bytes in there, but later on in the code uh, there is an allocation of memory which relates to the size of the, the, the data buffer coming in from, from the, the client. So then there's an allocation of that memory uh, without it being checked, and then the memory is copied related to that payload size. So in this case, we overrun the memory and then we, go, we poke into an area of memory which we shouldn't have, uh, and that is where uh, user data is actually stored. So what was meant to happen is that we, we pick off a few bytes stored in memory. Uh, but what is really happening is that if the user crafts a payload which is greater than that, then they can actually pull off all this other memory here which can have data in it. Okay, so there's the writing of the data to the uh, back into the socket back to the to the to the client so we've got this payload it's larger than expected we allocate an area of memory we then fill that memory up from our memory within the machine and then we send that back okay so in that way the data is actually from memory is written back to the, to, the, to the client. So this is what should have happened, is that there should have been some check on the value that comes in from the, from the payload, and if it was greater than a certain amount, uh, this record size here, which breaches uh, this, this RFC here, then we return back zero or, or a null. And only then would we then go on and copy it back to the user. Okay, so let's have a look at the OpenSSL. So OpenSSL is a fairly standard program. It does lots of cryptography and, and so on, very useful. And the first thing we should check is the version number. And the version number, if it's 101A to F, then it is vulnerable to this, to this, uh, this, th this vulnerability. So we can see that this one actually is. So we can actually have a look. Uh, so OpenSSL allows us to create a connection to a website. 
uh, to be able to see if we can debug the connection. And if we see the heartbeat being set, then we know that there can be a problem here. So this is what we get back from our, our connection here to port 443. And you can actually see there is the heartbeat uh, actually in, in there. Okay, so this shows us things like the certificate uh, and and so on. We can see all the details of the connection and then all the encryption used. And then eventually we get the web page that comes back uh, from the server from, from there. So there is also a website that's been created that allows us to be able to check for any potential problems. So we'll just pull that website up now. And we'll just have a look. And so we go and it should show us if, uh, if it's safe or, or not. There is also a script that's been created which actually uh, which actually shows the, the which actually shows the, the vulnerability. So in this case, what happens is that we this is our the 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 payload that we actually send here. So if we want to create an IDS signature, we would actually pick off some of these bytes and actually send them on. So what it is we'll just open up Nano. There. So that we can scroll through. Okay, so if we just, just quickly look, there's some options there for 443 and so on. So if we have a look at the main part of this, we should be able to see the, the basic code that's, that's set up. Okay, that creates a socket on 443, we connect and so on, and then we wait, and then what we do is that we actually send out that that hello payload. So the hello payload allows us to create a certain size of uh, buffer. So there we go, there's, there's what it sends out. And then this will be what's used to be able to create the, the, uh, the payload coming back. So if we see what happens next, we then receive something back. So we send that out from there. We then wait for it to come back and then we receive the actual payload from from there. Okay, so that uh, that's receiving it back from there and then we'll, we'll have a look at the, the heartbeat request. So now if we look at the receive message, we can actually see this is how the message is actually coming back from it. And the one thing that we should see is that when the length of the payload coming back is greater than 3, then we can actually see that it's actually vulnerable. Okay, so this script will actually show if a, if a site is vulnerable or not. So we won't run it just now, but this, is, this shows you how easy it is to exploit this vulnerability. Okay, so that's just a quick touch up on, on this vulnerability.